I spent some time with two boys in particular, Brandon, age 16, a junior, and Jamil, age 17, now starting his senior year. Each struggled in their previous schools. Each came to Principal Wade for help. Each is now succeeding at Robert Valk's Promise Academy. So uh, let me start with you, Jamil. How, how has the experience been? I liked it. At, at first, once I heard how it was going to be, I didn't think I was going to like it for real, for real. But I gave it a try, because I was at Boone at a disciplinarian school, mm -hmm. and there ain't nothing like this. What had you heard about it before you came that you think you were not going to like? The uniforms. The uniforms. You weren't, you weren't down with that? No, not. Uh, this is my first year actually wearing a tie. Yeah, see, a necktie is not so bad. No, I ain't. Mean, and getting ready for the real world. Yeah. Yeah. So, Brandon, what's the experience been like for you so far? I would say that it's great. Mm -hmm. I came from a school where it was hard to be focused on, like, like for a teacher to just focus on one student, or for mm -hmm. a principal, anybody just focus on one student. So the experience was better for me just being as though it bettered my life because I came from, like, just acting crazy, like, getting kicked out of school, switched around. I came here, met Mr. Weed, and he started, he started talking to me, like, I'm going to break you, like, I'm going to get through you. He's like, we're going to help you out. I got a good team, and we're going to be supportive. So, like, the experience, like, it was, it was real good just for the mm -hmm. simple fact that it's like they care. Why, at such a young age, um, had you, prior to coming here, found yourself in trouble? When I was in middle school, I just was just going off of anger. Like, mm -hmm. if I get mad, I'm, I'm just black. Like, I just do anything. I mm -hmm. wouldn't think about the suspensions and none of that. And now that I'm here, I wish that I did, like, knew back then. Like, I should have listened. Shouldn't have been getting in trouble. Shouldn't have been talking back to the teachers and stuff. I appreciate your honesty, first of all, that prior to coming here, you really didn't like school. Um, there was a point in my life when I didn't like school either. So what happens inside of a black boy, a young black man in your case, um, that allows him to go from hating school to being anxious to come to school? So why do, why do you like going to school now? What happened? What changed? They listen now. Mm -hmm. I, I could talk. I could, they could hear my side of the story. Usually, like, I get in trouble, nobody want to hear my side of the story but my mom. Well, you know, your mom going to listen to you regardless. Yeah. But now here, like, principal, they listen to you, the counselor, the teacher, they hear your side instead of just taking the fellow staff side or something. I did not see... I want to think about this. Yeah, I did not see a black man in the classroom until I got to college, and that was my second year. I was a sophomore in college before I ever saw an African American instructor, a black male instructor. Black male instructor. You all are fortunate, I think, to have an African American male principal here. What's it mean for you um, to see a black male authority figure who listens to you by your own admission, who cares about you. What's that mean to see a black male every day? I would say being as though I don't have my father in my life, excellent, like excellent role model for me, like somebody I can like really look up to and talk to. Like, so I look at that as like a big, that's a big thing for me, like, cause I can just go to him and talk to him about anything. Like, so to me, he's an excellent role model.